Hi everyone, I'm Sue. Thank you for joining me at my channel, Sue Speaks What's Cooking Tonight. Today I'm going to cook eight treasure duck. In Chinese, ba bao ya. It's a traditional Chinese New Year dish served during Chinese New Year reunion dinner. We use eight ingredients for the stuffing in the duck cavity. So this is a picture of a pre-cooked stuffing here. And these are the ingredients. All the eight treasures ingredients are one cup each for three ducks. So if you want to reduce it to one duck, just reduce it by one third. The recipes for the rice, glutinous rice, it's also for three cups. You can reduce it to one third, which is one cup. I have soaked three cups of glutinous rice in a pot for about four hours. You can soak it overnight if wish, and it's cooked with three cups of water. So let me introduce the eight ingredients for the stuffing. Um, as you can see in this picture, first this is the water chestnut. Uh, water chestnut is from Can, bought from a Chinese shop. This is lotus seeds. Now lotus seeds has to be pre-soaked in hot boiled water, hot water for about 30 minutes before cooking. So on the right is Chinese sausages and that's dates, Chinese dates, this one, water chestnut, lotus seed, walnuts and mushrooms. And I've got a block of ham there too. And the eighth ingredient is prawns. You can have dried shrimp if you wish. And because I love to eat vegetables, I would like to put in a bit of uh, diced carrots. So now we cook the finely chopped onions and garlic in a wok with canola oil or peanut oil. A dash of soy sauce to bring up the aroma. And once it's browned, we add uh, prawns. I like to throw in uh, prawns and garlic together because they it actually brings up the aroma of the prawns and to remove any uh, fishy prawn smell. Next, we add the carrots and we can all put in all the other ingredients. This is the cut up. Chinese sausages and I have removed the outer skin of the Chinese sausage and uh, so this here it is and smoke ham that's roughly chopped up brown mushrooms and water chestnuts and also the chopped uh, walnuts you can also use roasted chestnuts if you wish, if you can find it. So this is the dates. And I'm going to put in the Chinese sausage to fry. Yeah, this is some uh, dried scallops that I found in my freezer. So I added in uh, scallops if it's optional. You can put in scallop as to a flavor enhancer. And we just want to mix it well, mix it together. It doesn't have to be fully cooked because we are going to cook it in the pressure cooker later. So we can add flavoring now. We can add some seasoning. We can add um, soy sauce, light soy sauce, a dash of uh, light and dark soy sauce, and uh, five about five dash of. Uh, oyster sauce which is equivalent to about five teaspoon and if you like you can put in a bit of uh, ground pepper I prefer to use black pepper so this is the dark soy sauce so 
Well, I've also added um, five rock sugar. And now you can see that I'm going to put in glutinous rice and we're going to mix it well so that the colors are even. So these are the uh, uh, mixed glutinous rice with the eight treasures uh, ingredients. It looked a bit like um, fried rice, but it's a bit more gluey than fried rice. I've got three raw ducks here that have been clean and all the feathers plucked out, washed with salt and the cavities of each duck are filled with uh, the glutinous stuffing that I've cooked earlier and we'll stitch up the cavity with two toothpicks or you can use a thread to stitch it up so that the duff stuffings do not uh, drop out well when we cooked in the pressure cooker. And then we rub the three duck with a bit of salt, uh, light and, and uh, dark soy sauce, and that's all. So the next step is to fry the ducks in hot oil. I've used canola oil and just fill up the wok with uh, hot oil and when you put in the duck please be very careful it's best to pat dry the, the duck uh, with paper towel make sure it's absolutely dry before you actually fry them we'll fry the duck until golden brown and once one side is brown we'll turn the duck over just be very careful not to splatter so this is a picture of a duck that has been cooked in fried hot oil the next step is to prepare the gravy sauce for pressure cooker. So we have got five ingredients here, cinnamon, five spice powder, star anise, garlic and ginger. And you can also put in spring onion. We mix the ingredients in a bowl now. For the ingredients you can use half cinnamon stick instead of ground cinnamon powder. Cinnamon powder is about one teaspoon and a two or three cloves of garlic with two or three slices of ginger and one star anise and I would add about uh, half a cup of stock uh, either chicken stock or beef stock or uh, not ch beef stock, chicken stock or duck stock and then I will submerge the fried duck in the stock soup say add about two bowl, big bowls of water and then you cook in a pressure cooker I cook in the pressure cooker for one hour, so about 30 minutes uh, with half open vent and another 30 minutes with closed vent. And once one hour is up, we just turn off the fire and do not open the pressure cooker until half an hour later, just as a precaution. Half an hour later, Release the pressure and once all the pressure is out, you can open the lid. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can also steam the duck uh, in a serving tray like so and just put in some uh, water with the seasoning and you steam the duck in uh, low to medium heat for about an hour. And just remember to refill water on the outer side of the steaming tray. And you will get the same uh, cooked duck. But to, in my experience, uh, steamed duck is a bit less uh, tender than uh, the pressure cooker duck. The remaining stock or gravy, we're going to thicken it by putting a few tablespoons of cornstarch take it to the boil and add peas and corn and then we're going to drizzle the gravy, the thickened gravy onto the serving tray over the dark like so uh, as shown in the picture so this is 8 treasure duck and I hope you all like it thank you for watching my video Sue's Pig What's Cooking Tonight enjoy Bye.